What's up, everybody? This is Ross from Old Type of Gaming. Now, today I'm just talking about the Microsoft press conference. Now, this is, a, this is a my time video, but I'm just pretty much give you a general overview of what I thought of it. Now, when they first came out with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, they, it, it, it had um, exclusive content first on the Xbox One. And as usual, Call of Duty is a Call of Duty, you know, it's pretty much be a good shooter, you know. Um, say that for the multiplayer. I, like, I never played the one that recently came out, Ghost. I never played the, the single player, went to the multiplayer, so. There you have it, and they also have Forza Motorsport 5 came on stage next with, uh, I'm gonna butcher the name, I but they have a free map came out today, Tr free track, so to speak, came out today, and it's free to download for everybody on Xbox One, Forza Horizon 2, and this game gonna be in 1080p at 30 frames, 30 frames per second, and gonna be released on September the, the um, 30th, but they're also gonna have driver tours and, um, Dynamic weather for over 200 plus cars. Now this this is one I'm waiting for the most. It's Evolve. Evolve looks so freaking awesome. They added more characters. So you have a total of eight characters plus the beast will be nine. Uh, the beta gonna be exclusively to Xbox One this fall with new DLC only on the Xbox One. So that's something else to be looking forward to. And Assassin's Creed Unity. Now this game here gonna feature a full player co-op. Um, with shared experience, so you pretty much play the game as probably be like probably gonna be like um, how Splinter Cell was back in the day on the, on the original Xbox when they have a single um, a multiplayer campaign just for multiplayer, and which is gonna which I think is gonna be real nice. I, I love Assassin's Creed, well the last one, the last the last one I really love. Also, they have um, what's another Dragon Age Inquisition. DLC gonna arrive first on the Xbox One, so that's pretty neat. So Xbox still going along with the Dragon Age. Now Sunset Overdrive was something I would like. Uh, a game with two cartoon there, and I won't like it, but it looked really gorgeous. So you should check out the trailer below. They're also gonna have multiplayer co-op. Um, Dead Rising Three DLC. Now this is some. The name is just crazy. I can't. I forgot the whole name of it, but that's crazy. On there now, so uh, Dance Central Gang, Dance Central Spotlight, Fable Legends, Project Spark has some real nice, and interesting at the, at the end of this. Conquer. Now I will wish, wishing, I will wishing rare did a Conquer game, but they didn't. But they put Conquer in, in Project Spark, so I, I can imagine all the Conquer boys and levels going to get remade. And I hope so. Please, I hope so. Please, somebody make that. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. Um, Art and the Blind Forest, like an indie game, they announced. And then the game, they were everybody been waiting for Halo. The first three industry um, lady, I forgot her name, but she came on stage. She talked about Halo. Then they announced the Master Chief Collection, which, which to me, everybody knew it was gonna happen. But wow, that's all I can say. I say wow. You have a hundred multiplayer maps. I mean, every map ever made between Halo One, Two, Three, and Four gonna be included in the game. All around on its own engine, the original engines, One, Two, and Three. So. It, like it's not the, the um, crap anniversary they came out with and it's a redone all completely over. This is gonna be completely, completely done over from beginning. No, this is gonna be I like it. like I said, I'm, I'm getting really excited thinking about it. You're gonna have every map in Halo One, Halo Two, Halo Three, and Halo Four. Not only that, it have it has its own original engine. So you wanna play Halo One and has the, the overpowered um handgun. Wow, I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to um, that. They come out also to be in 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is said Xbox One can do it, but it did it. Here, the Guardian B, they're going to be out also between December 27th and um, January the 17th. Has some news written down here. And they came out with a montage trailer, all these games. But one game in particular that I think I really like, I thought watching the cartoon, Cuphead. Look pretty interesting. So I'm gonna look more, look more into that. Uh, the Witcher, um, the Witcher Three Manhunt. Wow, the Witcher look gorgeous. I really surprised at the Witcher. Um, can't really say too much more about it because it's a Witcher. Like it's it's what you get. But they say it'll be more open world than the last tour. So looking forward to that. The Division. Uh, I'm not really too fond of the Division because. After watching Ubisoft, 
press press conference and then seeing what other game that's gone been announced. Not really too far too much looking forward to um, the division, but you know who knows. And it close and it close um the conference out with Crackdown. Yes, that's right, Crackdown. And I can tell you now, the only reason why I brought Crackdown one was for the Halo Three beta. And I promise you, I played Crackdown all day, every day, like constantly. Even when Halo came out that beat, I went back to Crackdown. That's how good Crackdown One was. Two wasn't so good, but hope it's hoping Part Three or original if it's a reboot and it's redoing it over and you know tweaking some stuff, adding the chases in and stuff. I can't. I'm looking forward to it. So what you what do you guys think about this uh, Microsoft press conference for um, E3 2014? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. This is Rob. So signing out. Peace.